All right, welcome to Randy Ranchero's cooking show. Just kidding. <laughs> Today, we are going to show you how you can use your Instapot for something that most people don't think about. Today, we are going to be cooking with And I brought my wife along to show us how she uses our instant pot in the country. So ever since we moved out to the country about 10 years ago, I guess we've become a little bit country bumpkin or hillbilly because we actually like this meal. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. It's one of Randy's favorites. Um, and all you need is a squirrel. If you don't have squirrel, you can use what else have we used? Rabbit? Quail. Quail, yep. Uh, if you live up, you know, South Dakota or Nebraska where you can shoot some pheasants, that's a great option. Um, squirrels are a little small, so if you have two squirrels, it really works a little bit better. Or our favorite is squirrel and bunny. Uh, that is Combined. a great combination. That is a good combination. And if you want to be really boring, you can use chicken thighs, but um, squirrel is really the best because it's good dark meat. Um, okay, so this is all you do. We have um, a cup and a half of rice. We use brown rice because, you know, that's what we like. And you're going to mix in some celery, about a cup and a half of celery, and some baby carrots. Let's see, I'm just going to put in some handfuls. We like carrots, so the more the better. Maybe two cups. Okay. Some chicken bouillon. It's a really, really, really easy recipe. It's good old squirrel and rice. Um, this is onion soup mix, the dry mix. And let's see. Oh, I almost forgot. Gotta get our squirrel. Um, I usually request that the head is cut off, but it doesn't have to be. Some people like it with the head on. <laughs> I kind of like it with the head off. I, I like it with the head off. And then you put some cream of mushroom soup over top of that. Put that right over mm, the swirl. It smells amazing. I know, I wish y'all could smell it because it smells good and it's going to make the house smell really good. Okay. Get all that. So how long does it take to cook? It's about 28 minutes in the Instapot. So, I think I got it all in there. Let's see. Put this on here, right? I probably can't. Nope, I'm doing it the wrong way. Okay, make sure it's on ceiling. Put it on pressure cook. Do it about 28 minutes. And that's it. It'll come to pressure and then cook it for 28 minutes. So it's probably about 45 minutes all together. And then we'll have a really good meal. All right, we'll see what it looks like when it gets done cooking. Okay, it usually takes a minute or two for it to vent. Now is the time when we see if it worked. Mm-hmm. Looks good. Gonna have to stir it up. Get the squirrel out. Get the meat off the bones. I'm gonna <clears throat> grab the squirrel out if I can. This is the hard part. Is it really hot. hot? Pretty hot. <laughs> Woo! Nothing like a good squirrel leg. Mmm. It is really good. Done to perfection. Mmm. So good. Mmm. 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 Mm. <laughs> Better save some meat. There's not a whole lot on there. But it is great. Mmm. So good. Now I am going to get 
all the meat I can off of this bone. This is when I wish we had a couple more squirrels in there. Yeah. And then once I get all the meat off the bone, I'll, I'll put it back in there and mix it up. good country meal. Squirrel in the Instant Pot. You can't beat it. Nothing like a midnight squirrel snack. Oh, here we go. All right. I can't wait for this. This sounds so good right now. Mmm. 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 Honey? Did you remember to take the feet off of this one? some squirrel oh okay what do you think about that good stuff huh no. <sighs> not very nice it's gonna be good <laughs> 